The tricep mark is on the posterior midline of the upper arm, halfway between the acromion and olecranon process. The subscapular mark is 1 to 2 centimeters below the inferior angle of the scapula. The chest or pectoral mark will be one half the distance between the anterior axillary line and the nipple for men, or one third of the distance between the anterior axillary line and the nipple for women. The abdominal mark is two centimeters to the right of the umbilicus. The suprailiac mark will be in line with the natural angle of the iliac crest taken in the anterior axillary line immediately superior to the iliac crest. The mark for the thigh will be on the anterior midline of the thigh, midway between the proximal border of the patella and the inguinal crease. Firmly grasp the skin fold between the thumb and the index finger of your left hand, one centimeter above the site to be measured. Pull the skin fold up and away from the body. Keep the fold elevated while you, are, you take the measure. Keep pinching the fold with your left hand throughout the entire measurement. Hold the caliper in your right hand with the dial facing up. Place the jaws of the calipers perpendicular to the fold one centimeter below the fingers and halfway between the crest and base of the fold and release all pressure on the scissor grip while keeping the caliper perpendicular to the skin fold. Record the skin fold measurement to the nearest 0.5 millimeters one to two seconds after releasing the scissor grip. Take skin fold measurements in rotational order to allow time for the skin fold to regain its normal thickness. Take a minimum of two measurements at each site. If duplicate measurements are not within one or two millimeters, retest this site. The first two body density equations allow calculations of body density without a loss in prediction accuracy for a wide range of individuals. Once body density has been determined, Percentage of body fat can be estimated using either the Brozic or Siri equations.